The top story this midday, the fate of a Kentucky man who carried out a deadly school shooting as a teen will be decided by a parole board. In 1997, Michael Carneal opened fire at Heath High School in West Paducah. At the time, he was 14 years old. He killed three students and wounded five others. Carneal was sentenced to life in prison, but was given the possibility of parole. In Kentucky, a juvenile code allows for a life sentence as long as parole is considered after 25 years. Victim testimony started at 10 this morning and includes those injured and the family of those students who died. Tomorrow morning at 8, Carneal will make his case from the prison in LaGrange, Kentucky. The parole board will then determine if he'll be released in November. Parole hearings are open to the public and are shown over Zoom. West Kentucky Community and Technical College is offering a viewing space, and you can find more information at WSILTV.com, and we will have an update on this story in our evening newscasts. And a man from Illinois is on his way back home after being held hostage by the Taliban. The United States and the Taliban exchanged prisoners today. Mark Frerichs from Lombard was kidnapped in January of 2020. At the time, the Navy veteran was in Afghanistan doing some contract work. He disappeared weeks before the U.S. and the Taliban signed a peace deal. Authorities believe he was taken by the Haqqani network with links to the Taliban. The Taliban received Haji Muhammad Bashir, who was held in U.S. custody on drug charges. A crash involving a semi.